Now to tonight's top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Three hit and runs, an assault and a shooting. Tonight, at least one person is dead and a suspect is in custody following this crime spree in Carmichael. Uh, he looked like he was on a mission. He looked like he was very, very just, uh, I mean, mentally out of control. New tonight, also in Carmichael, deputy searching for a suspect in connection to a man who was shot and killed through his apartment's front door. It might have happened after a fight. The search continues for a driver in Natomas who ran over and killed a man. It happened last night on Northgate Boulevard next to I-80. It's still unknown if drugs or alcohol played a role in this crash off South Sacramento's Florin Road. A truck hit four cars before plowing into a home. Pilot shortages and maintenance issues. It's what American Airlines is blaming on hundreds of flight cancellations that they now expect will happen until mid-July. Tonight, Grass Valley Serenos at Main Street is now so in need of help. They say they are offering $5,000 to experienced line and prep cooks if they join the team. This restaurant is a landmark in, and, and a staple in our community. Some McDonald's are now offering COVID vaccines using free burgers as bait. A clinic is already staffed by healthcare professionals in Vacaville. We're trying to come up with innovative ways to reach out to hard to reach populations. Need health insurance? Well, now you have until the end of June to sign up with Covered California. The agency says plans are as cheap as one dollar. A slam dunk for college athletes at the Supreme Court. By a 9-0 vote, the justices ruled the NCAA cannot ban or limit education related payments to college athletes. Players can be paid through incentives like scholarships. And a major milestone, the Raiders' Carl Nassib just became the first active NFL player to come out as gay. But I'm really not doing this for attention. Um, I just think that representation and visibility are so important. The league's commissioner says the NFL is proud he courageously shared his truth. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.